Hello everybody, my name is Dustin, and welcome to this rather, I'm not going to say very serious, but I want to have kind of a serious undertone to it video. Um, it's This is addressing the way that the channel is and how things are going. First off, I do want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching this video, either just the beginning part or all the way through the end. Um, I, there are, I would say most of the, what I'm about to say is very important in terms of the channel and the direction that I want to take it. It's not a drastic change, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to hype up anything or anything. Um, what I had to do uh, recently, some of you may know, it, it depends on, because I have, it, it's weird because I don't have like official vlog type thing going on, it's just like, if anybody watches all my videos, you can kind of like put, piece all of it together, but, sorry, I've worn up my voice today. I used to be on the other side of the room. Literally, <laughs> my desk used to sit on the other side of the room. Now it sits in the corner of the room. So there was a transition time where things were very sporadic, but I was still able to upload videos. So I appreciate you guys still watching those videos. I really do. Don't ever think that I'm not. You don't ever think it. No. I can't do that to the desk because it shakes the camera and it can be a little weird. Anyways, um, that's what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the direction of the channel. I get sidetracked, by the way. You may notice that. I get very very badly sidetracked just out of nowhere. Just squirrel. And then just kind of get distracted and talk about that for five minutes. What I'm getting at is this. I love the way that things are on the channel right now. The live streams, the videos. I love everything. Because I'm able to not only play games that I love, but also to share that with other people. Um, the main reason why I wanted to do YouTube and why I continue to do YouTube is because, and not just YouTube in general, because I've also done things on the side where I've shown people edited videos just in real life. Like, sir, in real life, I've just gone up to him and like, hey dude, check out this video, and I'd show him a video that I made, and he enjoys it too. So it's not just YouTube videos. If I had to be more general about it, it's more along the lines of, um, I just noticed something over here. Sorry, I get distracted, like I said, I'm sorry. I had to remove that from my desk. Um, okay, now that speaker's in place, now I can continue the rest of the video, that was bothering me, sorry. Um, it's not just YouTube videos in general, although that is the platform on which I post my videos, it's more video editing in general, because I love to be able to do that. It's, I don't know what it is about it, I just really like to record and then edit videos, and then publish them for people to watch and enjoy. There's something inside of me that has always wanted to be a kind of an entertainer, kind of a, a narrator, if you will. Um, to kind of go back to a story, not to make it too long, but an uncle of mine took us to, us being me and my siblings, at the time it was just me and my two brothers, my sister didn't want to go, to an indoor pool. And I think I was like maybe, maybe 11 or 12 at the time. And there have been a couple other things that looks weird when I look up like this. Uh, there's a couple other times before then where thought I had you on, where I had this this feeling of I just want to narrate things like the announcer voice. Like I'm really good at finding proper settings. I'll say to to do that type of stuff, and I really enjoy that because it's a lot of fun. So. Nope, nope, you're like, oh, you're like, okay, we're good. So my uncle at the time, um, he took us to the indoor pool. At the time, they had like a 20-foot high dive, and they only had like another one that was like three feet above the water, nothing really huge, you know, maybe even two feet. But my uncle kept going up on the high, high dive, is what we called it, and um, whenever he did, I would just sit in the water for like 20 minutes straight and just continue to narrate what was going on. It's like, oh, and there he goes. He's up on the ladder again. He's climbing and climbing and climbing. Let's see what he does this time. And then just wait till he gets to the top. And it's like, and now everybody's quiet. And like the, the whole building's loud because there's like a billion people there, it feels like. But he's up there and I'm like, watch him go. And one, two, and three. Here he comes. And he sticks the landing. What a perfect shot. And it's like, shot's not the right word. But <laughs> you catch my drift. A lot of the times in my life, I've always wanted to narrate things and like do not so much like voiceover stuff because that, 
Although that's good, there's a part of me that would find that kind of boring, because then I'm just like, and there goes George. He has no idea what to do with his life. He just sits there, doing nothing. Like, there's a part of me that's like, there's an audience for that, there really is. But at the same time, I'll, I want to be more of the, like, announcer narrator, <laughs> you know? Like, keep up the energy type of a person. Even though that's quite contrary to most of my videos, I have had a couple of people, co-workers or friends of mine, who have told me after watching some of my videos, <sighs> that most of the time I'm rather boring. And I'm like, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> because... I've never been energetic. I really have not. So for me to go out of my comfort zone and be more energetic, be more spontaneous, and do more things, it's it's life altering. Like I will admit, YouTube has changed me to some degree for the better, obviously, not for the worse. But it's the it's the mantra that I've always had, which is as long as one person watches one of my videos, I'm gonna continue making videos. And if that means I get opposition from time to time, like, why are you still posting videos when nobody's watching, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I have actually got a couple of comments like that, and they are still up, of people who are no longer subscribed, because I told them, look, I'm going to keep uploading videos, because how am I supposed to get any views if I don't upload videos? It's simple logic to me, right? But anyways, for those of you struggling with not so much YouTube-related stuff, but just in general, if you have people hating on you or telling you you can't do this or why you even doing that, why you wasting your life and stuff, your life is your life. What you choose to do with it is your responsibility and your choices. So you make the most of your life. For me personally, I could sit here and be like, why am I even playing guitar having doubt about it? Well, I could sit there and do that, but is that really going to be constructive for me? I have a gift. I have a talent to do music. So why would I want to give up on that talent? And a lot of times, those who are around you the most, and I'm not saying this is, is the case for everybody, for, but for me personally, my experience, my family has been a huge support because they've showed me what my weaknesses are and what my strengths are. So they're able to help me know what my strengths are and they can attest to half the stuff that I just said, which is I have a gift for music. You can ask my mom, my, my brothers, my sister, you can ask my dad, any of them really, they will tell you that I have a gift for music and that I love music. A little obsessively, but I love music. So it's, it's like you need to chase your own dreams. You need to be your own person, not try to be somebody else. I know this took more of a serious turn, but like I said, I want to be semi-serious. But in all seriousness, I do want to say thank you for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing... I'm going to crack my hands every time I yawn. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing like a monthly update video or something because the thought has crossed my mind, but that's like, there's a part of me that's like, uh oh, that's another video I gotta edit. Oh. <laughs> but there's, there's a part of me that's like, I want to get you guys at least one video game content every day. That's something I want to do. Or at the very least, have two videos like the guitar video and this video a day. That way there's at least some content. But the video game stuff, I know people come back for that. So I'm going to try to get the one, at least one of those up every day. I'm going to quickly go eat some breakfast and then hopefully edit a video before I go to work. At least do half of it because the video I have to edit is a Terraria video or Terraria. And it's going to be like a 30-40 minute video that I need to condense down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, sincerely thank you guys for watching this video. As far as live streams are concerned, I have thought about branching out to do Wednesday and Thursday, maybe like two hours each day or something like that, just to kind of be like, hey, let's live stream for more days out of the week. But I'm like, I don't know how I do with that. Three hours seems like much, and then the following day, <sighs> the following day, I tend to. Like, just rest my voice and just kind of hang out, you know, kind of not have a care in the world for the most part of the day. But I'm thinking maybe two hours each day or three and then two or something like that. I might do three and then one just to try to break it up because there's a couple of games I do want to live stream play because I do want to play them. But there's like, I don't know, there's not much time in the day on Wednesday. Excuse me, and I can't keep talking for eight hours. I just can't. <laughs> 10 minutes is enough. 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Again, sincerely, I do appreciate you guys and you guys watching the videos, liking, commenting, and sharing. I do appreciate all that stuff because no stuff. I do appreciate all of that because it's what helps grow the channel, grow the community, and I do want to do that eventually. But for right now, I do thank you to each of you who have found me through just filtering through people on YouTube, finding videos, either a thumbnail that I made that wasn't really professional looking or whatever. You know, that's fine by me. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you for watching this video. Click on the annotations to watch more videos or mobile users. You can find the video links in the description. If you want to be notified of more videos like this, please subscribe by clicking the channel icon. Thanks again and have a great day.